This is why Premiere Pro is still the number one editing program. These last couple years, many editors have switched from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. And not to mention, there's still editors editing on Final Cut Pro for some reason. But to this day, Premiere Pro is still number one and still the industry standard. And I'm gonna explain why I think you should use Premiere Pro and I'll explain as a professional video editor why it could really hurt your career moving to another program and why I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, I'd lose a lot of money if I did. As frustrating as it can be, there's really three reasons why Premiere Pro is the editing program you're gonna to wanna to stick with or learn in the future. First reason is the features, including the reliable timeline and the helpful new and recent updates that is extremely useful for this generation of content editors that need to add captions, that utilize text-based editing, that want a vertical video workflow, and can even work with After Effects, utilizing the dynamic link. Premiere Pro has everything you need to edit the best content on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, period. Personal projects aside, Premiere Pro is an editing program that we use as pro video editors for our job. And that's why the second reason that it's still number one is because Premiere Pro is still the industry standard. And yes, it's used in the film world, was even used to edit the movie everywhere, everywhere, everything, everywhere, everything, everywhere, all at once. Premiere Pro is especially prominent in the marketing side of film and video. So people like freelancers, marketing agencies, production companies, videographers, and an important aspect of your career is having the skill and knowledge of the editing program you're working on transferred to your job. And if your job uses Premiere Pro, then it's more valuable to use that program, whether to get the job or keep the job. Even people who aren't video editors, your bosses, your future clients are gonna be aware, are gonna have heard of Premiere Pro. And if you're like me, most video editors, they're very artistic, very creative, and we always thinking about how to have higher quality video, higher quality content, higher quality everything. But once you start getting a job, the workflow and how you make this content is just as important. And that's weird. Business in general is just difficult for us creatives to digest. Though I'm not saying you get bad quality in Premiere Pro, quality isn't everything. The emphasis for the job could be quantity or less mistakes or work with a team. A good example of quality isn't everything while working a job is my experience working with a personal training company, managing their content, editing all their videos and filming as well. And I partly came into that job really with the filmmaker perspective of quality, quality, quality. How can I make the highest quality content? I hung on to videos a little too long, always trying to perfect them. And my boss explained to me, 80% is enough. This was true for what we were doing. It's not true for everybody, but the time it takes to go beyond 80% sometimes is more than it took to get to 80%. And so a big switch in our strategy was posting more and it became more about quantity became more about the workflow, having systems in place to post seven days a week, which was big because I had to film, strategize, come up with scripts, and we saw a huge growth, millions of views because we were posting more. The workflow was also important if I received input, how well and how fast could I apply those changes and for my clients to see that. These are the things that helped me get multiple raises with that company, helped me get paid more. And that's contrary to when you start out in this job and you just think it's better content, edit better videos, and you get paid more and you go farther in your career. And that's not the case. And put bluntly, there's probably one person on that team that has edited for themselves. They barely knew anything about video editing, but they knew Premiere Pro. I wouldn't have gotten that job if I didn't use this program. It's the most popular program. And so if you're doing this for your career, don't just think about what you wanna make for yourself. Think about how to be valuable for your future clients, future bosses. And it's just a perspective that I think people are missing if they're just thinking about how can I make better videos? If you want a job, it's not always the case, but mostly, then think about what program you wanna use. Industry standard is a good start. By the way, like this video if you use Premiere Pro, and if you don't, I don't know, maybe you should dislike it. I don't know, I'll probably regret saying that. Third reason is collaboration. This is where we level up. This is where we go from freelancer to running a production company. Go from solo filmmaker to having a team, having other editors work with and under us. When it's being used on a higher level, it's really great for collaboration in the professional world. And that's why if I was hiring people, I would work in Premiere Pro. And because most people have their roots planted in Premiere Pro, it's gonna take a while for the industry to change drastically. Another example of why collaboration was important 
was this humbling experience. For a lot of my career, I worked as a solo freelancer, solo video editor, had some collaborators, but didn't really have a lot of coworkers that were also video editors. And even the people I knew in my circle was usually the best video editor. Until I got a job working for a production company, let's just say my boss was a way better video editor than me. I was not used to this, but it was exactly what I was looking for. Someone with way more experience than me, someone farther up in the production world, someone I could learn a lot from. And working in these jobs was like, very different. Working with a production company where multiple people are working on one server, using Premiere Pro to its highest level, collaborating on projects, switching projects. And so how many of us make really cool stuff, but our projects are a mess. A lot of my projects, I'm just throwing in footage in there, trying to post content, not even using a folder, designated hard drive for footage, and it doesn't matter, whatever. What could go wrong? Oh yeah. My keyboard shortcuts, something as basic as that, were way better once I was working with this client. Organization saved my life. <laughs> started using Trello, started making less mistakes on edits, working in a cohesive way where another editor can hop on my project and know where everything is and work the same way. Nest the same way, cut the same way, everything. A lot of people use Premiere Pro, not a lot of people use it to its full potential. And when you work with clients and posting hundreds of videos like I do, hundreds of videos. That workflow is not gonna work on Final Cut. DaVinci's growing, it's getting a lot of these collaboration features, but if you're picking a program that your livelihood depends on, definitely recommend Premiere Pro. Now in the case for other programs, I think another program could come out with unique features and a lot of solo videographers, enthusiasts, people in the film world could start moving over to a program such as DaVinci that they already have but it's gonna take a long time for the industry to catch up or change so that if you're learning a different program, you could confidently get a job. If I was just a content creator, maybe I'd keep using DaVinci for better playback, still a lot of great features, but Premiere Pro is the best way to get paid, to get a job, to keep your career going, but it's not the only way. I wish you guys the best. Just wanted to share my thoughts for somebody trying to decide what program or to stay the program. Keep getting paid, pay your rent, edit good content, so. Good luck to all the video editors. More helpful content on my page. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and more videos to come. Catch you later. Cheers.